Under the Dome, scene one, Mark. I loved it that it's going to be on TV. First of all, the novel is very, very long. The time period that it covers is a week or 10 days. That's it. My feeling about Under the Dome is that when people come, I would like them to be fascinated by the situation. I love stories about ordinary people in extraordinary situations. To see how some people will rise to that situation and some people will crumble from it. Mom's having brunch with Uncle Steve at Denny's. That's on the other side of this thing. We're on our own. So the situation draws you in and the characters keep you coming back. And if we're very, very lucky, people will also start to discuss, well, what is this dome? What does it mean? What's the purpose of it? It's intimidating. You want to do this thing justice. You want, you want him to, uh, you want to bring that vision to light that he put down on the page. Whatever it is, it cut off all our roads. Not just the roads. The whole town. We're trapped. Because we live in a dome. Planet Earth is, a, we're all under the dome because so far as we know, this little tiny blue world is all we've got. I swear, in the long run, you're gonna thank me for this. The one thing that TV has is time. It has all the time in the world to spread out and tell a story. We like Under the Dome to be a, a family fright. The thing I think he really excels at is bringing horror into everyday lives. When I was young, I um, got through It and Tommy Knockers and didn't sleep for like, like three years. <laughs> I don't want to give away any of the secrets. There's a lot of magic in this show. A lot of the stuff that you see is really being pulled off, so to speak, under your eyes. And there's a scene where the truck hits the dome that's pretty fantastic. People's eyes are going to bug out of their heads when they see it, particularly if they see it on a big screen in HD. We're gonna try to make this a character-driven show, but nobody's shying away from the big effects, I can tell you that. Knowing that Stephen King and Steven Spielberg are producing it, at that point you really only have one answer, <laughs> which is yes. And it was completely different from a character that I'm coming off in Breaking Bad. You're gonna let me make an emergency broadcast right now, or someone's gonna die. With the, the table reading that we had before the first day of shooting, Everybody sat around, deconstructed the script for the pilot episode, for episode one. Having him here for our table read and our first day of shooting was like the coolest thing in the world. And when you see real live breathing people doing your lines and telling your story, there's this little sense like, I think maybe this is all a big fantasy, that this isn't really happening. It's pretty, pretty wonderful. Did he just call it a dome? Yeah. Well, I think that Under the Dome is going to be riveting TV. That's what we're really trying to do, is we're trying to make a show where people become uh, really involved with the fates of the characters, who are really asking themselves what's going to happen next. This time, it looks like we've got a shot to do something that's really special.